farmer's market in Santa Fe, and there's a big protest for a fair farm bill. Uh, folks have gathered from across New Mexico, and I'm talking to, what's your name? Ignacio. His sign says, good food, good water, good health. Ignacio, why do you think we need good food, good water in Santa Fe? Because a lot of people are dying because they don't have food or water. The government just shut down. A lot of businesses are going out of business. What do you think about the government shutting down? How does that affect uh, food and farmers? That affects They're going to take away like, a lot of what we need to eat. They're taking away food stamps, they're taking away money that would go to farmers, yeah. and they haven't passed a farm bill for a whole year, and farmers aren't getting paid. Yeah. So what effect is that having on our on our communities? Is that making us like sicker and poorer? What? Do you think that's having a bad effect on our communities yeah. in New Mexico? Yeah. Is it making us more sick and more poor? Well, kind of, because a lot of us like, don't know how to farm, like a lot of people don't know how to farm. And Support your farmers. Do you know how to farm? <laughs> yes. That's awesome. <laughs> what, do you, what do you grow? Support uh, rice, potatoes, tomatoes, we uh, grow all kinds of things. Carrots. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell to the world? How about food justice for everybody? Oh, um, yeah. Well, a lot of people, like, learn how to grow so you can survive through the government shutting down. That's a real important message for everyone. Yeah. Need to grow our own food. Even if it's the winter, we can do it in greenhouses and we yeah. could grow our own crops, feed ourselves. We don't even need the government. Thanks, Ignacio. Protect that water, and in order to protect that water, we got to put that water to beneficial use. And if we don't put that water to beneficial use, then um, you're going to have like the state engineer and other governmental agencies saying you don't need it, you're not using it, you don't need it. So um, it's a real big threat. Everybody's. Uh, you know, scrambling and fighting for water and uh, can adversely affect our communities and basically dry them out. Uh, our secas are extensions of the river. Uh, they create riparian areas for habitat and um, also recharge our aquifers. We dry those out. You're going to see a lot of uh, your, your different areas uh, like Pecos uh, dry out. And, um, it's something that I don't want to see and it's something that I don't want to pass on to my children or grandchildren. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent.